Hello, right, I want to give you guys some quick tips on just little things you can do to sort of spice your playing up or make things a bit more exciting. Right, so, watch. Exhibit A, guitar. Exhibit B, capo. Fire one of these bad boys onto one of these frets. Anywhere, let's pick one at random. Let's go fourth fret. And then immediately, you can play the same chords but sort of spice things up in a in a higher tone. All right? Okay. The other thing I want to say is when I'm playing a chord progression, what I quite like is you. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's jump down a little bit. Let's go down to the second fret. Let's take a C, right? What you can do, instead of just down strumming, practice your alternate picking. So down up, down up, down up, down up, down up. And then also, when you're picking a single string, instead of just picking down, pick down and up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And what you can do, you can combine that and just pick random strings on the guitar, right? And then sometimes strum the whole lot together. See, that's a little secret. When I play, sometimes I just strum random strings when I'm holding a chord. And you'd, you'd be amazed with the sounds that come out. So, let me give you an example. One chord progression I quite like is you take the C, then you slide up, one, two, and then you go into an E, right? Or should I say an E minor, okay? So, right? But what you can do, if you start to strum the strings, right? took a bit of a gamble at the end there but it worked out and that's the key message I'm trying to get across to you guys is that it's all about having fun so guitar capo experiment stick it on anywhere try strumming alternate picking and just try enjoy making music do not get bogged down in the boring theory theory does help people learn in different ways the way I learned guitar is mainly by ear do what sounds good do what makes you passionate to pick up that guitar and keep playing every day. Take care.